Do you want to read that? You can. I was really scared in the hospital. I didn't know what was going to happen. We found out I had leukemia. My mom and dad were afraid too. They let me eat all the junk I wanted. <laughs> I can just hear his voice though in reading so many things that he said. We have three children, Nate, Allie, and Audrey. Nate was preparing to go into kindergarten at school and he had to have his finger stuck and a few things um, just in preparation for that. And when they stuck his finger, they noticed something different. Hemoglobin was off and that is what they suspected was uh, leukemia. Personally, you're struggling with what's going on. How could this be true? We can remember him asking, you know, am I going to die? That because of our reaction that we were so scared. When Nate was newly diagnosed and he got in the hospital, as he ventured out slightly, he saw that he was not the only one that was in that position. He wanted to help when he could to make someone else feel comfortable. Stacy and I are both engineers. We were nerdy and trying to research and have any information that we could have. Didn't find anything that suited Nate, maybe. Uh, and he asked, can I have my own book? And we said, well, I, I guess you can. I love the story of David fighting the big giant Goliath. My Bible fell apart at this story where my mom read it to me so many times. David was a boy who fought against a bad guy. David couldn't lose because God was on his side. I remember Nate telling me that at his conclusion. He said, you know, he couldn't lose. I can remember when he first passed away that one of the first thoughts I had is no one's ever gonna want to read a book of a child who died. That's not the ending that anybody wants. You see power in that. There's always power in suffering, I think, and, and you have to give it over to God and let him use it. We started the backpacks with a way of giving away Nate's book. In the backpacks, we do give things that were beneficial to Nate when he was going through treatment. Because of the cameras involved, that's turned into a big communication tool for the children who can communicate back to their friends and their cousins and their siblings and things like that. There's, always, there's a blanket in, in all of them and a big teddy bear in there. Even the backpack is useful for coming and going from the clinic once the children get to where they're leaving the hospital. Very intentional. Everything we try to be really intentional with what goes in the backpack. Cancer, as I tell all the families, like a, a major trauma in anybody's life, both the child and the, and the family. Patients and parents, you know, suddenly are overwhelmed by a sense of fear. Anything that can bring them some a calming effect or a sense of distraction from the serious, intense conversation that we are having, you know, is, goes a long way. Once they open up, the children, they look at it, automatically they smile. That, that smile you had to see. And, you know, it, it, it distracts them for that, you know, at that moment. We have the opportunity to enter into a hospital room through that backpack and show that we care. Good to see you all. Whereas Nate Richard was a young Kentuckian, his life and the giving and loving way in which he lived it continues to inspire hundreds of children across Kentucky and the nation. And whereas Nate's wish has given over 800 backpacks to children recently hospitalized with cancer, each of which contains items for comfort and distraction. Now therefore, I, Matthew G. Bevan, Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, do hereby pay tribute to Nate's wish and the Richard family, and do hereby declare that they epitomize the spirit of the phrase, we are Kentucky. They're clearly an uh, epitome of love, both the, the entire Richard's family. It makes both the doctors and nurses' uh, lives a lot easier. Our compassionate skills is enhanced by coming in contact with people like the Richard's family. I hope seeing me make it through a lot of hard things helps you to know you can do it too. I hope that you like my story. We really can do big things. Love, Nate.